I don't think there's a better team out there than Manchester City. United obviously didn't want us to win because it's Man United v Man City. So this time I'm going to choose the penalties. So I'm thinking, oh, we'll see. And he's looked at me and smiled. And I've looked at him and was like, you've got it wrong, mate. Kyle Walker. What a goal! Come on, mate. I'm waiting. Busy day. Here he is. What's happening today, then? Anything? No? Um, I think I've just signed my life away for two years, so um, very happy. And I couldn't think of anything or anyone. You've gone seriously at the start no, of this. Haven't anyone? You? That why have you, I would why have you gone like serious though? Like to uh, do like, this say, like, interview with? What's that car behind? That don't way? worry, it's on your drive. So which way would you like to go? So I know that um, do you want to go the 34 straight down there? Or would you like to go a bit more? But you the like the room? you like the motorway, don't you? I Let's do like the. You know it's tricky getting out of here as well. Oh, here we go. Well, can. All right, are we good? That's been a good week. Life's good for you, hasn't it? Yeah. Been good this week for you. Golf, Golf. one. Yeah. But your caddy said he'd never seen anybody hit the ball 320 bank centre on hole 16. Yeah. And he'd also never seen anybody <laughs> <laughs> go in the fishing lane to the left. <laughs> Best moment in football, what is it? What do you think it is the best? I've been very fortunate to sign for a club in an era where we've gone and achieved so many titles and done so many, you know, the 100 points, the formidables. And then to do the treble last year kind of just topped off and to finally get that Champions League trophy just made it all worthwhile. And I feel that that was the least that this group of lads, especially a manager, probably deserved for what they've done um, over the last years. So there's been a lot, but hopefully there can be many more now. Um, we've got a good squad, good bunch of lads, you know, in the dressing room and outside of the dressing room. Um, so hopefully we can go and achieve great things. I mean, I, I felt there was, the, there was the missing thing, wasn't it? The Champions League. Yeah. It was the one that kept hanging over the football club, hanging yeah. over all you guys. That was what I could, I could sort of sense that it was, it was so important. It was the one, the one you wanted, the game you were looking forward to. I just think as well where you've gone and won the FA Cup the week before. So the treble's on. Obviously everyone was talking about the treble because we won the Premier League. We're in the final of the FA Cup against Manchester United. And then obviously we're also in the final against Inter Milan. But you can't talk about the treble until you've done the second one. So as soon as we won against Man United, it was like, oh my gosh, he's actually going to That must have felt a bit surreal against Man United, although it's an FA Cup. It was against the, you know, the rivals, but the biggest one was over your shoulder. How do you approach that, do you know? Because you still had to go and win it. Yeah, I, I, th I think with the lads, it was more, it was a great build up for the game that we was about to face for the Inter Milan game, because there were so many things where, United obviously didn't want us to win because it's Man United v Man City. There's an FA Cup. It's also if they spoil our party and win the FA Cup, the treble's not on. They was the last team to obviously in England to go and do the treble and the only team to go and do the treble. So, so many things was riding on that game, not just for us, but for them and their pride. I think it was a good thing that we had that game to build up, where it's like, well, if we win this, it's on. And what do you think like now, do you know, like this, this season you're signing a obviously new contract, yeah. you're ready to stay, there was other offers in. What what was it that sort of said, you know what, I'm gonna stay at Manchester City and what are the expectations? What do you think you can deliver? Because that's important mm -hmm. to you, isn't it, about winning things yeah. as, as much as you possibly can. What was it that sort of said, right, I've got to stay here and what do you think is achievable this year? Obviously footballing wise, but I don't think there's a better team out there than Manchester City. But also the manager, I think, the manager when we when we went out for food and even before that, you know, we've had a conversation and I just got the vibe that this it's something special and you should and like you said, as soon as you move from something that's great to then get back to that feeling or have them feelings that we've just been talking about where you're winning cups, you're winning trophies, you're having so many special moments. To get that back again, it's hard. So it all came into part and, you know, to work with probably 
one of, if not the best manager in the world, and I think this group of lads are something special. They're all hung, you know, hungry and very young and wanting to win and go and do it again. I didn't really want it. I thought I could still offer something to the team, basically. And how, 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 how was the meal? Was it, was it, did he pay? Was it nice? It was nice. It go. was nice. It was lovely. I have to take you, actually. Well, I've been waiting. No, do you know what? It's good that you... It's, it, it's again, isn't it? When you get older, there's so much more responsibility. Whether you, you actually got the armband or whether you've not, it's still that sort of that sort of role that you play. Yeah, it, isn't it? You, you still. Then that's why I think what's good at, at City is not a, you know, there's not a skipper and a vice skipper. There's there's five of us that control the dressing room and make sure that the lads, you know, are on time, are abiding by the rules and the the rules and regs that Pep sets and. It's down to him to bring the best out of us on the field. Um, you've lost it, obviously, Riyad, yeah. a friend. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, your players go out the door, Ilkay Gundogan. Um, how, how, how do you adapt with that? We've seen new players coming in, we've seen Radio come in, yeah. Kovacic in a yeah. good role. He's been getting good players like Kovacic, he's won four Champions Leagues. But I think that's one role that I do play. I do say so myself or give myself props. I try and make people feel welcome, welcome yeah. straight away because I've walked into that city dressing room seven years ago and it was daunting. So it's not nice when you walk into a dressing room for the first time. It's not nice, but as soon as you've got a couple of players in... What, it take you a few days to settle in and then you were, you were away? Oh, I believe away. someone else has settled in really well. Who? Early. Yeah, he's, he's comfy now, is he? Around yeah, the place, he's just happy. And... He's very comfortable. It's just about making people feel welcome because, again, I go back to we're doing the job that we all love, and you want to be you want to be coming to work buzzing every day. Every time I drive past or drive down this motorway, I'm not thinking I want to be going the other way and going back home. You know, I can't wait to get in and you know have a crack with the lads, have a little bit of banter. That penalty, you've gone up to take it. I'm doing commentary, and I've put my head in the screen thinking, why is he going to take this penalty? Now, I believe it was a late shout on it. Pep said, off you go, go and take it. Be honest now, what did you feel like when it was like, it's your turn to go? Right. <laughs> Coming back to the penalty situation, we've got in a huddle and normally when we've been in the penalty shootouts before, the manager always says, well, if you feel confident on that time, you know, put your hand up and then he will then make the decision on the five people that put their hand up who he wants to take in which order. So I'm thinking he's going to do the same again. I'm stood at the back, get me out of the oh, way. Far at the back. Yeah, yeah, right, far, the... yeah, right at the back. I don't want to be involved in it. So he's got us in the huddle and he's like, okay, so this time I'm going to choose the penalties because bearing in mind we just lost some penalties to Arsenal. So this time I'm going to choose the penalties. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm buzzing. He knows I don't like him. He knows I'm not going to take one. Fantastic. He's gone, so number one, I think it was early. Uh, number two, Julian. Number three, Kovacic. Number four, Grealish. And number five, who's going to win it for us? Kyle. Didn't his name. No, no, I'll say, I swear, he's got the he's gods on his shoe. He's going to win it for us, Kyle. And he's looked at me trust. and smiled. And I've looked at him and was like, you've got it wrong, mate. Like, Did you um, feel it in your legs? Yeah, it was horrible. Did they just go wobbly when he yeah, said it? Yeah, it was horrible. But you are wanting, I'm wanting to win, obviously. And I'm wanting to hopefully take that last penalty, that we, which makes the club win the trophy for the first time. But I'm wanting them to miss so I don't have to take one. So I'm, I'm guessing, I'm, I'm wanting like, all right, Jack, go on, mate. You go and do it, get the plaudits. Scores a winning penalty, Jack Grealish, well, fantastic. I'll go lift the trophy. Got that as a picture, you know, in my house now. Is it because of failing that you don't want to miss? No, it's, it's not failing for me. I don't mind. If I was playing solely that, alone, it's for, group, it's for the group. That's why I don't like it. Because but you're ultimate gentleman, aren't you? I mean, well, but it's not nice. You know, it's even in just the, for the group. I mean, even in the. Listening to this. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what, as well, and, and obviously you've lost your title to be the fastest at the football club as well now. No. Doku coming no, in. No. Hey? no chance. I believe he's quick enough. He's very, very quick. He's very quick. I seen him training. And I was like, oh my god. I think he's got too much for you. No, over the first five, yeah. Oh, first five. The first five. So you can get his crossing. Oh, you can't even. Can't oh. even get in his own training ground. He looks blocked. 
mean, it's not bad, this training ground, is it? It's nice. It's nice. Right, so that's it. We've made it now. We've made it. We're at training. We've made it. Yeah. I've got you on TV once again. <laughs> yeah, well, is it still rolling or not? Yeah, yeah that's rolling. Is that rolling? So you've got me on. Thanks.